So industrial engineers are concerned with the design and improvement of processes and design and improvement of systems. So what are the performance measures of the design that is uh, made by the industrial engineers or what are the measures of uh, processes and systems? So there are four measures that are used to uh, check the performance of industrial work systems. First one is the quality, the second is cost, the third is productivity and the fourth is safety. So the industrial engineers while designing the processes and systems focus on increasing and maintaining quality of the product or service. They focus on reducing cost to manufacture a product or deliver a service. They, they try to increase productivity of the processes and system and they ensure safety of employees and other stakeholders that are involved uh, in that system. So we will briefly discuss these four points. So in short, we call them QCPS, quality, cost, productivity and safety. So first the quality. You cannot improve a process until it is standardized. The purpose of quality is to, to identify the problems or loopholes in the systems and then improve that system. But we cannot do it unless our process or system is standardized. So that is the goal of uh, this course. So you cannot improve the process until it is standardized. So this is one of the most important takeaways of this course. So that is very, very important. If we are trying to improve something that is not standardized, we are wasting our time. First, we have to standardize it and then we can look for improvement. So a very simple question, how do you make a cup of tea? So I, I asked this question as a class activity and students uh, write the steps that they follow to make a cup of tea. And of course, the steps are not exactly the same. Uh, the, so the most common differences are, the first thing is the number of steps. So one student might have listed six steps, the other student might have listed five. Second uh, difference that I find is the sequence of steps. So there is some difference in the sequence of steps as well. And the third difference is the time spent on each step. So both are making tea, a cup of tea, but of course they will not be identical. Their taste or uh, action of the person, uh, the customer actually, will not be the same because the processes uh, that were followed were different. So this is again a key takeaway that you cannot make two identical products using two different methods. Errors are easy to detect when the process is standardized. So I repeat that you cannot make two identical products using two different methods. And there could be many differences in method, but the common are the number of steps followed, the sequence of steps or the time spent on each step. Right. The second is cost. And the third is productivity. And they are related. When the process is standardized, the cost reduces and productivity increases because of increased output due to learning curve effect. Very important. If the process is standardized and employee knows how he or she has to perform the steps, it will take him or her some time to learn that, that process. But after a certain time, because of same steps to be followed, same time spent on each step, same sequence, he or she will be able to increase his or her productivity because of learning curve effect. So when we are performing something for the first time, we take longer time and with the passage of time, we, we spend less time on that task. So as a result, we can produce more in the same amount of time. So the quantity produced and time spent. So time spent 
decreases as the as the time passes easy detection and rectification of errors so once the standard uh, steps are followed we can easily identify where the problems are occurring and we can correct them so that is also very obvious time saved that was wasted in confusion about what to do next this is practically very important if we are we have not defined uh, the the method of a, of performing a task the worker is not sure how he or she has to perform the task what next is to be done so a lot of time is wasted in confusion so if we have uh, defined the process or the method and uh, we have trained the worker in in uh, following those steps then this time wasted in confusion is avoided and it is very important actually i, I repeat this point that after standardizing the uh, process we have to define it we have to train the worker in that and we have to display uh, the standard procedure as well that is very important so you might have noticed uh, the work instructions that are displayed on the machines uh, in in good organizations so that we can easily detect if the uh, if the operator is following those standardized steps or not the fourth uh, performance measure is safety and safety is actually something that must be there so when designing a process safety of the employee is sort of prerequisite to keep in mind so if a newly designed process compromises the safety of workforce it cannot be termed as a better process safety first so safety is a first check to evaluate if a process is really worth implementing so in fact the new process should ideally have some additional safety aspect addressed as compared to the old process so in sequence it was the fourth point but practically it should be the first point that must be kept in mind and that must be so in this uh, uh, lecture we discuss about our course some learning outcomes what do industrial engineers do and specifically how this course will help you as an industrial engineer perform your uh, role in a better way and finally we discussed Uh, quality cost productivity and safety perspective of a process and how by standardizing a process we can um, improve quality reduce cost improve productivity and assure the safety of our employees if you have any questions you can